I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept about polynomial functions. So this time I'm going to introduce to you the polynomial functions in slightly different way. Normally we see that a function of this form is called a polynomial where the exponents are whole numbers and the coefficients are all real numbers, right? So these are all the terms where each exponent is a whole number it cannot be negative or rational and all coefficients are real numbers as mentioned here right but what we are going to do is to understand how this polynomial gets connected and how this equation actually gets connected so let me begin by saying that we'll take up each part one by one so let's begin with the constant terms right so let's say we have a function, we, let's call it c of x, which is equal to, let us say, uh, let's say just 1. In that case, if I have to sketch it, how do I sketch it? So I'll sketch some graphs here to reflect what really happens as we add terms to the polynomial. So when I say that it's constant 1, so it means really a straight line kind of like this, right? Okay, so that is the constant function which I have just sketched. So this point here is S1, a horizontal line. Now, let me add a linear term and write another function, let's say L of X as equal to, uh, let's say X, minus 1. Okay. x minus 1 will again be a straight line. So uh, let me draw this line uh, in a different color. Means one unit down will be the y-intercept. Slope of 1, so it will cross somewhere at 1 and then it will be kind of like this. So that becomes my function line, right? So at this point, these intercepts for us will be plus and minus 1, right? So this is minus 1. That is going to be plus 1. Now, if I add one more component to this, and let's call this as a quadratic function, q of x. So what I will do here is I will add a factor x minus 1 times x plus 1. If you expand, you do get x squared minus 1, correct? So that indicates a parabola which has been moved or translated one unit down. So from the graph point of view, it will start here, one intercept, the other one. And if the value is uh, if x is 2, for example, then it will be 2 square minus 1, which is 3. So it will be like pretty high, right? So, so let me just sketch the parabola uh, kind of like this. So, so at 0, it is going to be uh, minus 1. But if I write 1 here, then it is going to be 0, right? So for both plus and minus 1, uh, we have this kind of x-intercept, right? So... So that becomes the graph uh, for q of x. Correct. Now whatever I'm drawing here, these are all polynomials. And what am I doing? I'm actually adding some, some factors. Now let me have another function, let's say p of x. Now this time I'll add one more factor to it. So I'll multiply this x minus 1 and x plus 1 with, let us say, uh, we multiply it by x plus 2. If I do that, and if you see the graph on a graphing calculator, you will see that it adds 1 x intercepts at minus 2, right? And this particular graph may look like a cubic function, which will be... Uh, starting from quadrant 3, going through these x-intercepts, uh, and if x is 0, then the value is 
is minus 2, right? So if x is 0, the value is minus 2. So somewhere here, right? So, so let me just uh, sketch it roughly. So it will be kind of like this. So that becomes the graph for the polynomial x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 1. Well, if you expand this, write it in those terms, basically we have multiplied by x plus 2. So, so that will give me x cube, I'm just multiplying these two, minus, minus uh, x square, uh, let me write with this, 2x, let me write like this, 2x square, right? So I'm first multiplying both with x square. So that gives me x square and 2x square. And then I'll multiply with minus 1. That gives me minus x minus 2, correct? So what we get is the polynomial equation in standard form. Do you see that form here? So from here, what you see is that we can add terms by multiplying different uh, factors. So these terms which you see here are each being added. And once you add them in the graph, it will be reflected in kind of a smooth curve as being shown here, right? So if I write the next function, let's say, let's say f of x as equal to, let me add one more term here. Uh, this time I will not expand because expanding is not that easy. You know, you have to multiply and it takes a lot of time. So let me add on this side, uh, let's say x minus 3, right? So this is going to add a factor making an x-intercept or a 0 at, at 3. So if you want to sketch this particular graph, it may look like, now that is degree 4, right? So there are four zeros. So you'll see that this actually faces upwards, right? So, so it'll go like this, faces upwards, cross here, then come back here and cross there. So, and if you put x as 0, you get these numbers being multiplied, giving you 6, right? So, so much higher. So basically what you see here is a graph which could be kind of like this, right? So that becomes the graph for the next uh, polynomial in our series. What I did was that I added a factor and I increased the degree each time. Right? So what you note here basically is that if I take this term as positive, right? In that case, all the graphs are landing up in quadrant 1. So what you notice here is that all our graphs are ending up here in quadrant 1. If I'm taking positive values, right, for the coefficient of x cubed, in this case x to the power of 4, earlier cases x squared and x. So, so we see a correlation between these factors the degree and the graph. Now let me define some of the terms which I am using. Now what we say here is that, let me define two terms. One is degree. Degree is the highest power. Of the polynomial. And the other term is a n, which we call leading coefficient. Right, so leading coefficient is coefficient of the term with highest power. You can say highest degree. Right, so in this case, a n will be called as the leading coefficient. Okay, 
and n will be called degree of the polynomial right and these are the terms which add up to form your polynomial so what you see from this exercise is that polynomial is a function which is combination of few monomials right so each term is monomial in itself so one term one term alone will be called monomial if we have two terms like if there's only one term like here or just x square we'll call it a monomial if we add two terms binomial if we add three terms trinomial so that is how the polynomials also get their names so in this exercise what you see is that the equation represents combination of few terms based on that combination we have different types of graphs what you will notice later is if you extend this exercise and if you keep the leading coefficient positive all the graphs end up in quadrant one if the degree is even then they will face the same side as we saw for parabola and for the quadratic function right so so what you notice here is that these two functions have degree of 2 and this has degree of 4 right so these two have degree of 2 and 4 even degree on the other hand we have a function which is cubic and linear so cubic and linear have odd degrees they go from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 but even degree functions go from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1 if a n is greater than 0 so for a n greater than 0 we have all this so what you will find here is that the leading term which is a n x to the power of n decides the end behavior of a polynomial right so so we have leading term which is a n x to the power of n which decides the end behavior of our function is it okay now we'll explore all these properties in much more details in later videos while talking about polynomials but at moment what you can do is you can take a graphing calculator plug in some values as we are doing here and just see how the graphs change as you add some terms to it right so that will give you an idea of how the graphs of polynomials look like right and then watch my videos on characteristics of polynomial functions I hope that will get connected very easily. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.